With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student, here our given question is so that trajectory of an object thrown at a certain angle with the horizontal is parabola. Okay, so let us throw a body or object with some certain angle theta so that it will follow a curve path. Let us assume that any curve path it will follow. Okay, we, are, we don't know that this path is parabolic. Okay, in mathematical equation using mathematical equation we are going to show that the path followed by the trajectory would be a parabola. Okay. So let us assume this. This is an angle theta and its initial velocity. Okay, its initial velocity u and this is an angle theta. So that its initial velocity along x direction that is u x equal to u cos theta and its initial velocity along u y direction that is u sin theta. Okay, we know that this is okay when you throw the particle okay it will freely move in the space okay so that only its acceleration due to gravity is acting downward that is g okay and there is no horizontal acceleration of that particle so we can take horizontal acceleration is zero along x-axis and vertical acceleration is g okay as it is acting downward so we can take it negative of g okay so now if we from first equation of motion we know that v equal to u plus at okay so from here velocity at any instant along x direction vx equal to how much u plus ax that is it, this is ax ax is 0 okay so we get from here that is vx equal to ux that is u of cos theta that is velocity along x axis is always constant velocity in x direction is always constant okay now how much distance will cover in x direction now let at any instant of the time okay the particle is covering along x direction that is displacement is x so that we can write displacement x equal to ux into t okay so from here we can say that time t to cover the horizontal distance or displacement that is t equal to x divided by ux ux that is that is u cos theta u cos theta because ux and vx are same here so we have considered only ux so from here we get time to travel or the displacement x okay so now along y direction how much its displacement will be after time interval of t that is ui into t minus of half into g into t square okay from this is from third equation of motion now we can write y equal to ux is that is u sin theta initial velocity along y direction into time t the time t you have already found that x by that is x by u of cos theta minus of half into acceleration due to gravity and n plus of t this is t square is x square by u square cos square theta okay so from here we can get that is equation y equal to u u will cancel out so that we are getting only 10 theta into x x 10 theta minus half into g into x square divided by u square cos square theta okay this is the final equation and this equation represent a parabola because we know that for any parabolic equation that is x square equal to 4 a y that is x square directly proportional to y and y square equal to 4 a x that is y square directly proportional to x okay so from here we can say that this first equation is just resemble to this equation after modifying this equation in such a way that it will give a equation of parabola that is in this form okay so we can say that the path followed by the particle or the object after throwing it an, at an angle of theta with the horizontal 
h parabola path okay thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today